so happy right now. He has no idea what's going on. Hey guys, welcome back. We're here. Loud noises. This is the Pony Pokey Podcast number 11. I'm Jake. I'm Derek. I'm Bobby. And Derek is watching the new... First six minutes of Evangelion 3.0. You can not redo. In raw Japanese... Yeah. Whoa, oh, they're in space! It's like every line is clipping. Well, what are you gonna do? Turn down the input. <laughs> oh, Jesus. <laughs> space. Okay. Wait, are you the space corn now? Yes. <laughs> yeah. You and your memes. So, how's you everyone your been? We've been gone. How are you guys? For well, a while. Well, I mean, we did put up that one Mega Man video, so... Yeah. <laughs> I'm bad at I'm bad at platformers. Well, well, you're bad at old Mega Man. You need to play Mega Man X. Why? It, it's easy. Oh, okay. <laughs> yeah, you can like. It's fast. You can wall jump and stuff. And dash. Ooh. Sounds like another Mario 64 clone. No, not like that. You know, it, it uh, sounds like another Mario Jake, 64 clone. Jake, Jake, Every one of your shitty indie games Jake, listen, is a Mario 64 listen. clone. Listen, no, the wall jumping is like Super Meat Boy. It's a Super Meat Boy clone. Doesn't make any sense. That's newer. So is Mario 64. No, it's not. Mario yeah. 64 came out like five years after. No, Mario 64 is the first video game ever created. All right, how could I forget? By it's the only game that matters. By it's the only game that matters. Every other game afterwards does not matter. Created in 1776 by Shigi Migimoto. Hey, 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 hey! hey, 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 hey. <laughs> shitty Migimoto made some good games. No, I said Shiggy, not shitty. Oh, Shiggy! I, I would never say that. Shiggy? I would. Shiggy. That's what people call it, actually. The hell, man! <laughs> what the hell with the shiggy me What the hell are they talking about, man? With the with the things and the words, and you're having what the fuck is this? Is that an angel? I think so. <laughs> Look at it go! It's breaking the AT field. Whoa! <laughs> <laughs> Fucking hurt shit up. I was gonna know. Uh, okay. The helmet. <laughs> <laughs> Well, that's... Jake has no idea what's going I, on. I don't that know kind of what's do. happening. I'm just kind of like, there's some anime so, in the corner there. So, how have you guys been? We've been good. Did you brush your teeth? Did you eat your <laughs> breakfast? <laughs> You're not their mother, Derek. Stop it. It's more but it kind of feels like we are. Why? Well, because, because we give them their huddleful boyfriend? No, we don't. <laughs> oh yeah! By the way, we're not doing that anymore. Yeah, you just we're... broke the hearts of half of our fans. We're gonna we're... get no more subscribers. Listen, ever. all of our subscribers leave. <laughs> Listen, guys, that's all they want. We like you. We like you. You're nice people. We love you. We don't like the pigeons. Well, we did that be- on a whim, and we were like, "This will no one will like this." And then <laughs> this will be six, really ridiculous. Six months later, do more hard to pull boy now. Still getting them. Yeah, sorry. <laughs> Still so, getting let's, them. Let's explain why we don't want to do this. Okay, we do like hard to boyfriend, but when we play those games, it's the game being funny and not us. And you might as well just play the game yourself. Because yeah. we're not we're not adding anything. It's boring. We're just shittily, you know, reading the text. Yeah. It's and forgetting what our like accents were on each one and having to be yeah. like, wait, what the hell are we doing again? So it basically turned into a really bad Hotful Boyfriend dub, and you don't want that. You think you want that? You don't want that. <laughs> what? Yeah, you, you guys, you want, you deserve and want more than that. That's not very good. You, you need you need quality videos like like a Derek only commentary. Oh no, they don't want that. They're they gonna think, get that. They think they do, and they're gonna get it, but they don't want it. They think it's another thing where they think they want it, but they don't. <laughs> that's like everything that's most requested with us. They they think they want it, they really don't. <laughs> the things they should want, they don't know they want yet. Yeah, you know, and eventually you're still watching that. It's, it's not done yet. It's the first six. Holy shit! <laughs> <laughs> Pattern blue. It's an angel. This is an angel. Oh, is it Montreal? Yeah, it is. <laughs> I can't believe you're doing this right now. Well, it's important. Okay, sorry. It's really important. <laughs> More important than saying hello to our fans. Well, no. But <laughs> just slightly. But we can do both at the same time. It's, it's called like multitasking. at the same time. It works. So well, what's happening in the anime now, Derek? I don't fucking know. <laughs> I can't speak Japanese. I can. Well, Asuka's fighting an angel in space. What does that mean? You don't know. 
Why do they? What do they have against angels? What Something. do they have against the Christian God? I don't understand. He's dead. I don't know. <laughs> Something. God is dead. Is this the God? Soul? He's dead. What the hell is happening anymore? No, nothing. I don't even know. This is epic as hell. Okay, so <laughs> um, videos. Did we want to do wait, some, but we don't. We don't did know. Oscar just say Baka Shinji? Yes. <laughs> of, course she, of course she did. I need to see this movie. Shinji's not even there. <laughs> Of Doesn't fucking matter. He's always screwing up. What a goofball! He's did so it, wacky. Did it? We're not just gonna sing Benny Hill the whole time, okay? No, it's Jake. I'm done. Okay. <laughs> hold on, hold on. So she just blew that thing up, right? Uh-huh. Right, right. Anyway, we want to do more videos, but we don't know what yet. We're probably going to put out a video for that. That'll be more efficient than doing this, but you can tell us in here too, I guess. Yeah. Yeah. Put them in the comments. We're going to make an actual video video for this, but... Yeah, we're probably going to do... That'll probably come out before this, but... Listen up. Hold on. He's going to lay down the mad <laughs> Okay. Okay. Welcome to the first ever... Pony pony. Pony the <laughs> fuck. <laughs> I'm stupid. Outtakes. Outtakes. We have them again. Welcome to the first ever Pony Pokey video suggestion. Here are the rules. Rule number one. No goddamn pigeons! <laughs> Rule number two. If we've done it before, let's not do it again. Rule number three. No, um, this is going to sound weird, but I mean, no, no, no reading any R34 or anything like that. I'm not, I'm not down for that, guys. Here's the criteria. One video that can be anything, anything pony related, any video, sort of, whatever. One video of older pony, because old is good, old is good. One video of literally anything. Anything you want us to do. One pony game of your choice. And one game at all of any choice. Leave a comment below in the podcast or in the video that we make specifically for this. And let's have some fun. You whispered that so essentially to our listeners' ears. So you don't have to suggest one for each category, but like that's what we're going to pick. That's like the kind of criteria we're looking for. The kind of important things that we need, or feel like the channel needs, and we're known for, and stuff like that. We also said one cartoon that isn't Pony, but I think at this point we all just know we're going to do... <laughs> so, <laughs> man... Man, we could do Lilith's Pet I w- Shop. I wanted to wait for someone to say it and be like... Oh, that's a great idea, Mr. Man. We never thought about that. We never, ever thought about it. <laughs> the world needs to know about this first six minutes of a movie. You need to just post that on the every first blog. six minutes of the anime you, movie. You code men. Every uh, blog one. you code men. <laughs> only Pony Pokey. Oh, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> just please post it on Pony Pokey. <laughs> will. People have no idea what the fuck is going on. They don't care. They know Derek loves Eva. But it's Japanese. I still won't understand. (laughs) They still will not understand what's going on. They eat that shit up. They eat that shit up? Yes. You know know which series episode has most dislikes? The Eva episode. (laughs) Which one? Yeah, basically. (laughs) No, it's because because no one knows what the hell is going on. Yeah. (laughs) What the fuck does all this mean? I was one of those dislikes. There's there's probably like ten people that are like, hey, I get that. Hey, that too. And everyone else is like, what the fuck's in Eva? Just like everyone else has watched the goddamn show. Everyone. <laughs> Seinfeld music plays. Did you guys see that audio I made? The Seinfeld audio? No. Did anyone listen to that? I didn't see that. There's another bad joke that I made. It was me doing stand-up. <laughs> oh, I th- oh, yeah. I, I listened to that because you you just sent me a message saying, Bobby, Photoshop the Seinfeld logo on any picture of me ASAP. <laughs> <laughs> Why? <laughs> Because I needed it for the for the cover thing. Oh my god. You don't have GIMP, man. It was just... Welcome to the first ever Pony Pokey video suggestion. 
to another episode of Seinfeld. Hey guys, how you doing? And then, ah, ha, 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 ha. thank you, thank you for. Can we just change our Pony Pokey intro music to be the Seinfeld theme? <laughs> no, we'll get sued. We will we'll, get sued. We would get sued straight, right fast, off. right off. Sprung. It's a shame. That'd be great. Let's see in that in that audio. It was beautiful. Every everyone in the audience was Derek. <laughs> At the same volume as he was doing the stand-up. This overlaid over I see it. this? I'll show it to you, don't worry. Good, it's just, good. Like, I'll say a joke and you just hear... <laughs> you know, Morris, that's a great joke. That just, good job, Derek, A+. Plus. <laughs> and it just be like that. We just hear... Yes! Excellent, excellent. Very good. And I'm standing up there like, Oh, you guys are too kind. You settle too down. Kind, settle too down. Kind. Has anyone heard the one about the duck in the lemonade stand? And it's like, you just watched another episode of Seinfeld. Stay tuned for another episode of Seinfeld. On TBS! Don't, don't you. What? That's why you're making that face. Oh, no. And a duck walked up no. to a lemonade stand and he said you. to the man running the stand, I am within Hey! The bop, bop, bop. Oh, Got any grapes? grapes. Oh. What is that for you? No. What? <laughs> what? What? What about Speaking of <laughs> Speaking of I would like to tell you all about the first ever Pony Pokey Okay, basically we end up money for a P.O. box It's fucking expensive So hey I could fit video games in. Hey Wait, don't they just hold it behind the desk if They can't fit in the P.O. box And then we just ask them Hey, what didn't fit in our P.O. box? Yeah, but Money Money. Still. Yeah. It's still 20 bucks so, for hey, three months. Hey. So 88 bucks a year. So. Later on, a couple weeks or so, we're going to do something. And if you want to send us something, do the thing. You just message us and I'll give you my address. <laughs> <laughs> and you can send it to my house. Every, everybody. I'm not putting that thing out on the internet itself. But if you want, you just send me a message. I'll give you my address. Come on. And then one night, as Derek sleeps soundly in his bedroom, he hears a knock on the window. Who's that, he thinks. He goes to the window, opens the blinds, looks outside. Out there is a fangirl. She sits, staring up, gazing up at Derek's face. And she screams, You're a sexy fucking bitch, Derek. Uh, yeah. Yeah. Yeah, and then Derek died. Okay, maybe I should just shell out the 88 bucks a year so we don't get Eric... Eric? Eric? Oh, where, wait, Eric, where's Eric? Eric's at a college. Let's give... Let's give him <laughs> Eric's address. Give him his dorm number and he'll just be like, What the fuck is this? Why are they sending me so many Beyblade games? <laughs> <laughs> we we just sent him a letter with like a pony pokey. Like we get like pony pokey like what are those called? Like letterheads? Yeah. And we get pony pokey letterheads, write out a letter to Eric and just and send it to him and be like, You'll be getting a lot of video games in the next few You're weeks. the mailroom now, Eric. <laughs> You wanted to be part of Pony Poke? And Here's your chance. He's up at UF, right? Yeah, I think he's up at UF. Or he's UCO. One of one of the U's and F's. He's got F's That's and U's all of them. There. Exactly. He's in one of them. F-S-U. Well, he's not, at, F. he's not at Miami. We know that much. Yeah, he's not Oh, well, yeah, because that one doesn't have an F in it. Yeah. yeah. He's got an F in there. He, he's in bed. I went to UF the, like a couple weeks ago. It was oh, nice. Fancy. Mm. I was at Fest... I got another anime tattoo. I don't want to talk about it. <laughs> You don't want to talk about it? Yeah, One Piece tattoo. You get the, 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 the jolly. Yeah. Right on his dick. Yeah. <laughs> no, it's on my leg. Anyway. Look at that silence. Look at that silence. Yeah. <laughs> Awkward pauses so we talk about Derek's penis. <laughs> oh, Only man. on Pony We're already Pony. back on track. We're right where we left off. Yeah, basically. <laughs> um, let's see. What else did we do in our Oh yeah, lessons? Ponies premiered. We, we've we been talking for 15 yeah. minutes and we completely forgot that one horse show that kind of made us do all that this. Was that was good. Was, it was good. It was very good. 7 out of 10. See, see, Jake is one of those people who um, doesn't realize... Um, I, I realize he was a plot device. Um, I did, I'm disappointed that it was seven only and a half. Yeah. I, I'd go up a little higher. Sombra, I don't, I don't know. He was... Hmm. He, he served his point. I wish his point was more important. Yeah, hmm. his point was just I'm menacing Crystal Kingdom. Don't hurt. Don't you don't want to f- mess with me? And then they're like Crystal Heart, and he's like, no. And I wish he had a voice actor and maybe like some good lines. I don't even. I didn't even want him to be like a major, giant big thing. Just hmm. more than just. <laughs> he 
It's like the shadow of Linko out. <laughs> On a future note, I burped and farted at the same time right there. <laughs> oh, Thank well, you, that's Derek. getting cut. I did. We're not no, cutting it's not. that. That's, um, that's important stuff. Okay. But, yeah. No, I wish he was more, like, he, he was better. But he served his purpose. He did serve his purpose. Which is know. just being menacing and laughing. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I mean, he served his purpose, but I felt like, you know, he could have served his purpose and also had some kind of depth to him. I felt like yeah. they could have done that. And that's I mean, that's really my main gripe with the episode, was that, you know, I never was really, like, you know, there wasn't any, like, you know, worry or fear about him because he was just, like, this big black shadow <laughs> that, like, just... Yeah. I mean, what, he's the Sandstorm? Scary. I mean... He's the song Sandstorm. <laughs> no, that's scary. <laughs> that's some Tap Tap Revolution stuff. We love Tap Tap here. Now, see, did you ever play Tap Tap? Yeah. I mm. played a little. I played it once on someone else's iPhone. <laughs> no, 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 no. What? No, 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 that's... That's Tap... That's like Tap Tap, the game. There's Tap Tap and Tap Tap. No, listen, listen. <laughs> There's, um... No, it's, it's Flash Flash Revolution. What? It's like DDR, but you play on your keyboard. Oh. And it's a Flash game. And it has online multiplayer. And I played it a lot of middle school. I'm kind of weird because of it. My yeah, hand, that my explains hand, that. My hands me. jitter a lot. Like I'm doing a um, full screen tap. Tap, tap. That explains pretty much everything about Derek, doesn't it? <laughs> the hands jittering, the, the spontaneous. I love dance music. I love it. <laughs> you love you some Keisha. Kesha. Yeah, like Keisha. Kesha, Keisha. Keisha Fabo. Keisha. I like Keisha. Keisha's good. Keisha's... I don't have never had Keisha. So horses we were talking about. Oh. No. <laughs> no horses. I don't this know. This is a no horse podcast. I don't know. King Somber was lame. They could have done him better, but... I'd say the episode was like an 8 out of 10, because... Like, it's a slice of life show, so they don't really need a villain. They just kind of put one there... So they don't say, "Oh, it's a tornado or some like natural disaster." So I would because be okay they can't that. stop that. Well, okay, they kind of can because they have magic. But shut up, <laughs> weather so, ponies, man! Come on, they control the weather. I don't know if they can. That's like, an interesting question, actually. Can they control like natural disasters? That's the like, most. It seems like that could be like a future like plot device. Like a, a couple weather ponies go off and start being crazy and start causing natural disasters. Rainbow something. Dash turns into storm. <laughs> <laughs> No, like, like, it was a really good episode for what it was, which is just, just getting us back in the mood. Mm-hmm. Yeah. <laughs> what are you doing? Oh, no. <laughs> what are you trying to whistle? No, I don't... I can't... Anyway, it was good. It, I, I liked it. Mm-hmm. And I was over at our friend Michael's house, staying the night over with Murphy, and we're just like, Hey, Jake and Bobby, you come over and watch? And they're like, we both woke up. <laughs> And we're Oops. like, oh, I brought cookies. Yeah. <laughs> you should have brought cookies today. Well, you see, <laughs> I brought cookies last time that I thought we'd all be together. I didn't even know you were there, okay? Neither did I. There was no planning for that. Really? There was, like, none. There was. A, it seemed like there was a lot of talk, and then as soon as it all happened, we're like... Like, I got a message from Bobby asking me if it was happening, and he asked me if I wanted to go. I'm like, okay, I guess. And then that was about all I heard. You know? It's weird. I'll bring cookies next time. Like, I don't know. Like, it was at Michael's house, but some for some reason, since I was the first one to mention it, I was kind of in charge, and then I had no idea what was actually happening. That's weird. Yeah, it was weird. And then, like, at, at like, 9.30, Michael's like, are you coming over? Yeah, I got a text in the morning. Yeah. Um, I was asleep. <laughs> she did. Anyway. What, what, um, what was that? Make joke anime jokies. Oh. Anime jokes. Fucking anime. It's right. way over your you head. You and your shitty indie anime Listen, you, you're not going to be able to get it, alright? It's, Just say it's, it. It's, say it's, it for the fam. It's... <laughs> Baka. <laughs> you, you won't get the joke. Look. It's it's too high brow it's for too you. Too high brow for me. The brows yeah. are the, way up here. The brows, like, like the some, brows are really bushy and they go super saiyan. I mean, they're high brow. Okay, the brows are like off the head, like some like some Tom Preston shit. Okay, they're way up there. <laughs> fucking like fucking some anime like some kids. what's his name from Sherlock? The guy with the chin that cuts things. <laughs> Benedict Cumberbatch. <laughs> yeah, Ben Mangelsdorf. Ben Megaldor? Yeah. I don't know. 
<laughs> Dumbledore. Derek, what are you doing? Dumbledore, yeah, Dumbledore. <laughs> Dumbled and Hey, I, I learned a secret, guys. Snake kills him. <gasps> he kills the Dumbledore. The fuck are you talking about? Harry Potter 3. Uh, what? I think. Harry Potter 3, Dark of the Moon. <laughs> Harry Potter 3, New Moon. Harry Potter 3, The Reckoning. <laughs> The, the Shrekening. So, oh, <laughs> oh my god, I saw, um, I saw the end of the, like, just fourth Shrek movie the other oh, night. Oh no. It was on, like, FX, and, um, we were watching it, and it's terrible. <laughs> it's so bad, it makes no sense. I know. It's so bad, and they go back, at the very end, they, they have, um, that Smash Mouth song, and they're, that's a final What Smash music- Mouth song? Somebody once told me that's the like, world is gonna roam me. That's like 13 engine. years old at this point. Smash Mouth is still making records. Can they pick something else? They, no, they're not they, making they, they records. Need to wrap they're it up. making money off of that one song. They no, they, seriously, they released a new record like a couple months ago. I had no, no idea. Did you pirate it? No. You totally did. I didn't. You're totally a big fan of Smash Mouth. I used to be. You have a Smash Mouth shirt. I don't. You're wearing it right now. I'm wearing a Minecraft shirt. No, you're not. That's Smash Mouth. Well, you can't see it, but see this. The... No one can see it. This is an audio podcast. Okay, well, you can see it. No, well, I'm talking to you. No, no, I can't no, see it. No, I'm not no. talking to them. I'm talking to you Look, and Darren. For all, for all they know, you you are Smash Mouth. So I mean, yeah, Bobby is Smash Mouth. I am, and Derek's Nickelback. Yes, so I'm clear. Steve. Whatever. All right, Smash that's Mouth. it. This, this joke has gone over <laughs> my head. Um, I don't know where it's going anymore. So we're gonna take a commercial break. We don't have commercial breaks. Uh, we don't anymore. <laughs> we, we never can. had commercial breaks. We, I mean, we have music breaks. But I mean, do we want to? Do you want to do a music break? No. I mean, How much longer do we have to do? We've done twenty-two minutes. All right, know. let's do some more. <laughs> um, <laughs> let's continue we, about the episode. Is there anything else we want to say about the episode? Uh, not really. It's like that was it. It was good character interaction and the, the villain, glad to see Spike. The quote-unquote the... villain did. Did his job and Spike oh Spike Spike, Spike was good in that Spike episode was Spike and Twilight Rarity was really spot on in that episode too oh god good good, uh, good Rarity episode uh, the only thing I noticed was that Rainbow Dash was a little Jack. angrier than usual oh yeah Bobby you're the ship master here how about I you go ahead master. and just talk about that Rare Jack is canon that's all I have to say okay Flutter Dash it's like okay it's kind of ambiguous If you you can look at it either way but okay I mean, they were fucking flirting on camera in that episode I mean, so. and then Everyone ignores the fact that the Twilight and, and Rarity held hoofs at the end of the episode. Okay, that was And no one, no one remembers the episode where Twilight and Rainbow Dash go on the date. I oh, mean, yeah. come on. I forgot about that one. They go on a date and they they do horse date things. The fuck? You don't remember that one? <laughs> the no? candlelight dinner episode? That one, that one must have just... Ha- <laughs> With the just, spaghetti? <laughs> must have just happened in my head, never mind. You've got... You people are weird. Derek turned into a big twide ass shipper when no one was looking. When the hell that happened? <laughs> I saw... I saw you say he's something really, about twide ass something long ago, and I'm scared. <laughs> Am I the only one who doesn't have a serious ship here? Like, you think this is serious? I don't know anymore, man. How, how, how many screenshots of you going insane over Twixie do I have? Okay. He has a bunch. He has like three, okay? I have a lot. That's more than there should be in the world. I have at least like seven... I doubt it. Do you have your computer there? Let's look. <laughs> okay. <laughs> let's, let's, let's go into my Jake Blackmail folder that I actually have. Don't do that. That's bad. Don't do that. Yeah, okay. You, do, everything, don't, go, don't go through it. I'll go through it. No, okay. Everything in that folder we looked at here before. I don't know if the fans want to hear all of it. <laughs> no, they don't. They don't. They don't. Pap, pap the mic. Don't pap the mic. I don't even know if you can hear that. You can. It's it clipped. <laughs> good. Good. Clipping is good. Derek went up to the mic like three times, and that's how you can tell he's been watching a lot of Game Grumps. Oh. Yeah. He, he's slowly becoming John Tron. I have been watching. I've been watching a lot of like that whole circle of n- normal boots, not normal boots anymore because the site went down. Really? Stuff. It's good. Mm. Yeah. If I had the audacity, I'd probably make my own series, <laughs> but I don't. Yeah. No, we and my friend th- were actually talking about starting up a game series, but uh, yeah, Patrick. Yeah, that'd be cool. Mm-hmm. That'd be fun, honestly. But uh, uh, see, I've been getting into two best friends. Two oh. best friends is really good. Oh god, it's so good. They're really good. So good, girl. <laughs> I just, I've, I've grown to the point where I have the inflections of Pat 
from time to time, as was pointed out in our Mega Man video. Yes, everyone <laughs> noticed that. Well, not everyone, but some people. There did. were some people who noticed that, and it made me very, very proud. <laughs> that could even be compared to Pat. Mm. <laughs> oh, God. Good, good Let's Players. Mm-hmm. Uh, and then, of course, there's Critical. Did you see him play Need for Speed last night? Yes! <laughs> On the dinosaur? <laughs> oh, my God. <laughs> I don't know what the hell he did, but I like it. Like, there's something about you, YouTube videos where it's like, when people just try and make funny things, over time it, it feels like you'll lose speed, but just every time Critical says titties. <laughs> <laughs> just, just... <sighs> there's, it's just it a, feels a good. It's a wonderful thing. It feels warm and fuzzy. And it, I lights remember, up your, it lights up your heart. It harkens back to the olden days of titties. <laughs> Back to the olden titties. days of titties. When did where did titties go? Um, the olden days is like his first videos. Mm, his first mm. videos. What's up, everybody? I'm Critical. And... My favorites are when he did like nose go montages and stuff. <laughs> Back when he was he was that guy on Call of Duty. And That's stuff. beautiful. It was so great, and then he realized I'm funny, and then he deleted all those, <laughs> which is a shame because those were fun. Those were fun. See, I've been watching a lot of Vine Sauce, and what they do is, uh, Vinny just, like, streams all the fucking time, and then they just record that and cut it up to the best parts. It's it's beautiful. Like, he he was a total tryhard in Black Ops 2 last night, and <laughs> it was beautiful. <laughs> um, a lot of the times they'll do, like, game corruptions, where they'll, like, they'll... They have this program that just hacks the game and changes the data values, and then everything is totally screwed up. <laughs> and and it's, it just becomes horrifying. In Super Mario Brothers 2, all the trees become Luigi. <laughs> <laughs> That's wonderful. Well, speaking of video games, big two weeks these last couple of weeks. Actually, three if you count Assassin's Creed. Yes. They got the. That's, it's like, it's crazy because I don't have 180 bucks. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. So everyone's playing. Call of Duties and Halos. I'm playing Sonic Adventure. <laughs> <laughs> see, that's just as good. See, I wouldn't have got. I, the only reason I got Black Ops is because my dad bought it for himself. That's his Christmas present to himself. <laughs> he he's that much of a Call of Duty. <laughs> your dad creeps me out. <laughs> Why? With the Call of Duty. I love your dad though. He's so nice. Yeah. <laughs> he just he he loves the Call of he's Duty. A very cheery man. I don't know, man. And Halo Four. So cool. And the question is, why are the Call of Duty games over Halo? Because yeah, I was doing alphabetical. Oh, okay. Yeah. I didn't... I am I was actually starting, and then I realized it was almost one, so I had to stop, but I'm going to alphabetically <sighs> organize all my games. And then in, in each individual category is going to be the numerics. Like, if it's H's, it'll be, nu- it'll be numbers next. <laughs> I don't have mine organized like that. I just kind of, like, put the halos in order. I own one video game. Right there. Sonic Adventure 2? No, Naruto, <laughs> Shippuden, Ultimate Ninja Storm Generations. Don't you get paid every time you say that? Yes. Okay. <laughs> oh, and the Wii U! Doesn't that, like, come out today? <laughs> no, that's, like, Sunday, I think. It's soon, though. Who knows? Who knows? I, I want one. I don't know if I can afford one, because I'm poor. <laughs> um, <laughs> Friggin' no... No promo for that at all. Like, I've not seen a single commercial. I have. I haven't, there's there's like there, two. There have been commercials. Um, It's mostly, like... I think the commercials are going to pick up once it's actually out. Yeah. But the thing is, it's like the Wii in that they're all sold out already, so I don't think they see a need to advertise it when they already sold, like, every one they made for the first one. That's run. so ridiculous. I don't know. It, it look, it's, it's an interesting concept, the way it's, like, combining, like, tablet and, mm-hmm. like, screen and screen. I don't know. It's weird. I think but, they're pulling it off well so far. Yeah. I, I, you know, it's one of those things where you have to play it to feel it. Sort of mm-hmm. like the Wii was. Hey, the only thing I care about video games is that Capcom said they didn't give up on Mega Man. <laughs> yeah! Thank God. Like, I, I was mad. I mean, they've been I've been that. mad for, like, months. <laughs> I've been sitting here playing X2 over. I'm like, <laughs> mm, shit. And then Capcom says, whoa, 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 guys, calm down. We're making some. Just, we don't want to say anything, because the last time we did that, you all got mad. And we're like, oh. <laughs> yeah, because they keep canceling all the games they announce as soon as it's, like, in pre-alpha, so... I guess it's a good thing that they're keeping quiet until they have something good to show. Oh, except for, like, fucking crossover. <laughs> I'm done. Auto run. What is it? Sony All-Stars. <laughs> Game Grumps just did 
Donkey Kong Country, sweet. I'm gonna watch that when I get home. <laughs> Actually, like, I'm not even gonna lie, that, that PlayStation caught, like, Fighting game? Yeah. Not bad. It's not. But I mean, it's not Brawl. It's not Brawl. It's trying to be really, it's not, really hard. Listen, oh, yeah. you're not Brawl, all right? No you're one's not going to be Brawl. <laughs> you're not going to be, you know, Super did, did you hear about the, um, the, what was it, in Marvel vs. Capcom 3 Ultimate? Like, they did, you know, a skin pack, mm-hmm. and it was Mega Man X over Zero. Yeah. And everyone got really mad about it. <laughs> Yeah, but the thing is, it was I'm like... I'm just learning about that right now, like... Yesterday. It was, like, already in the code of the game as soon as it was released, and then they made everyone pay for it. Like, all the skins were already in the game, and people just That's my it. favorite part, is when they put the DLC on the disc and then make you pay for it. That's a favorite... That's stupid. Like, that's just dumb. Yeah, like, that doesn't really like, make this any isn't, sense. Like, this isn't back in the days where you'd go to the game shop, and it would be like, Hey, buddy, how you doing? Hi, Mr. GM! And he's got, like, the hat on, the little... Like, he looks like the candy man, except it's a game shop, and he's like... Here's the Super Mario, five dollars. All right, thank you. Here's my nickel, and then he walks away with it. Yeah, games are sixty bucks now. No, games have always been sixty bucks. <laughs> what? Yeah. Well, I went to like a used ass game store then when I was like five. Okay, well, used games are cheap, but like new games have always been like That's fifty or sixty. Stupid, like. But with inflation, they're getting cheaper over time. So. Yeah. That's dumb. It's just like we pay enough for them. Why make us subscribe to a? Season pass for fifty <laughs> bucks to get all the DLC. It's like I don't know. I mean, the season pass thing. If they're gonna release DLC for it, it's it's almost a good deal because it is cheaper to get like the fifty dollars yeah. season pass than to pay like twenty for each pack that comes out. Mm-hmm. But it's still it, it's still you know just put like three more maps on the disc and you don't need to do DLC. Well, yeah, or at yeah, least not right. as much DLC. But that's the thing. It's like. It's like it's a map. Do you know how much of a how much like the code maps take up? Barely anyway. It's not like we don't have any room for these, so we're just gonna throw them on here. It's like yeah, like, yeah but it's it's like really about development time because maps they have to they have to design it and they have to balance it. They have to make sure all like the lines of sight are okay, so you can't just sit in one spot and snipe everyone. It's I don't know. I mean, it's you, really hard to design a map. That makes sense and, for like other teams, but like when you look at the teams that like Halo and Call of Duty, yeah, they. <laughs> They've done everything, and they're just like, all right, now time to advertise this for, like crazy, <laughs> and get it out there. And then it's like, just put those on there. It's, on. it's basically because, like, you know, it has to launch between September and November. Yeah, they like have their release date. They're not. They're never going to delay Halo or Call of Duty yeah, ever. Yeah. No. So they basically just do as much as they can, and then they finish it for DLC. Oh, yeah, no. it, it's, it's tough. I feel like it should just be given. Like, yeah, if you buy it for sixty bucks. Yeah, there's yeah. there's like there's two ways to go about like the DLC and stuff. You have like the the Halos and the Call of Duties where they release map packs and, mm. and expansions and stuff like that. And then you have like the Rockstar way of like <laughs> when they release something, it's like another game you just got added to your game. Yeah. Like Rockstar with GTA five, the world is you know, they talk about how massive that world is gonna be and how it, they're gonna have there, there's three campaigns in there with the mm-hmm. three characters. I'm it's excited. like th- it's it's three different GTA games in one, you know. Well, the, not it, quite. It's, it's not like, quite, but it, it's pushing that boundary. Yeah. Compared to just one storyline with one character. Granted, all the storylines come together, but still, hmm. it's you know it, it it's giving you a ton of bang for your buck. I'm mm-hmm. actually really excited for that. Like, yeah, GTA Five looks spectacular. And like the world just, it feels like. Like a real place, not just like they put a city on an island and then they surrounded it with water. Like it feels like they go all over the place. It's yeah. huge and it's massive. It just looks like it's gonna be fun to just dig around as usual. <laughs> That's inevitably what I always do when I play GTA. I just say screw the missions as soon as I get a car and <laughs> just like go off jumps and stuff. Yeah. Like I personally I, I really enjoy GTA four. Hmm. You know, a lot of people didn't because it wasn't as like out there as like San Andreas was. You know, not as like crazy. Yeah. But I feel like they hit a good center path with five from what I've seen so far. With like ridiculous things like driving that Jeep out of that airplane <laughs> and like having fighter jets in there that you can shoot police helicopters mm-hmm. out of the sky with. And also balancing a story in there. Because that's what GTA 4 had. That was a very story-heavy thing. Yeah. Mm-hmm. And I really enjoyed that, because it was a really, really good story, in my opinion. Oh, yeah. But, you know, I think they found a healthy medium with that, and Rockstar is just one of my favorite devs. They really... Them and, them and like, Valve... Oh, yeah. Just really... Like, they just don't put out bad games these days. Yeah, they, they don't. It's spectacular. And then, 
you know, then you got Treyarch and, 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 and over there with Infinity Ward. Okay, Treyarch would be doing so many beautiful things if they weren't just forced to do Call of Duty. Like they can make a really good game. Like Black, they're, they're trying to innovate like, with Black Ops Two. They're yeah, trying like, to break out of it, but it's so hard. Like Black what Ops have they Two, done? Cause cause I, don't, I don't have it. Um, you know, the for like the the campaign, you, it's almost got like you can make choices. You can choose who lives and who dies. There are different ways to go about the mission. Like you can you can charge up the middle, or you can go and snipe the guys first. You know, you, you have options. And then horses. And there's also horses. Yes. Shout out to to us, the bronies. But. <laughs> You know they have they have made innovations in in Call of Duty far more than Infinity Ward has mm-hmm. far more. But that's because Infinity Ward like got it got chopped, ripped yeah. of everyone who was because Activision was just literally squeezing all of the creativeness out of them and just like Call of Duty game two years make it happen. Sure know? love Activision. <laughs> oh God, now they've got Bungie. I'm scared. They've got like a like a Call of Duty type contract going with Bungie now to make I think a trilogy. Of new shooters with DLC every year. Gosh, I, I don't know. It seems like if if anyone can make that constraint work, it is Bungie. Yeah, like they'll still be able to do because they're that's another dev that I absolutely adore. They're great at what they do, and they're great at, at pleasing the fans, which mm-hmm. is really what you need to do in video games. You really need to be looking out for the fans more than anything else because if you don't look out for the fans, you're not going to have that money in the in, you know afterwards anyway. So. Hmm. It'll be interesting to see what Bungie does. Very interested to see what they're going to do. I've heard their new game from, like, leaked um, tester, like, what they've said. Is that it's, like, an open-world shooter? Yeah. Like, not, like, Borderlands, but, like, like something completely different. Hmm. It's hard to describe because I can't really say much without getting uh, sniped in real life by Activision. <laughs> oh, man. By Bobby Activision. Kotick, personally. Mm, 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 mm. <laughs> That's weird. Yeah. Oh. Video games. Yeah, video, video games. Video games. And then there's like EA. Let's not talk about EA. We're not talking about EA. <laughs> EA just pisses me off. <laughs> Which is worse, like in EA general. Or Activision. I don't know <laughs> because EA like like the DLC. I mean, it's a beat. It's a beaten horse from all the people who like. If you ask me, like, what kind of games I like playing the most, mm-hmm. I like playing just games. Like, I'll play like PS One. I'll play anything. So I'm not like a kid who's just like I gotta play next gen. This then. Yeah. But, like, and this is a beaten horse, but DLC's killing the industry in a sense. And it's like, yeah, guess what? Slim Jims! Get a Slim Jim! There's a code on the back for your latest EA games! Whoa, I almost wanted this dude! The guy's, like, in a hospital bed, eating them. He's like, uh, I think that's really symbolic of everything. It's like, we're dying. Eat more Slim Jims, get more codes, video games, DLC. I'm like, Mountain Dew double XP codes, yeah. Oh my god. It, oh god. Is that seriously a thing? That's a yeah. thing with Halo 4. Yeah. What, I read an article on, on CNN that said console game is, console gaming is dying. Like, oh. from like, from like, um, uh, because of all the, like, handheld games being in, like, yeah. phones. It's and because. You just, like, pick it up and play it whenever you want, rather than go through the DLC and the codes and all that crap on a console. Not, it's not quite that. It's more that that's what they said in the article. <laughs> well, well, I'm the one who knows about the game industry here. So, no, what does no. CNN know? Yes, okay. the, the thing is the, that the big news corporation people <laughs> does not know anything about the economies about video games. The okay, video game the thing economies. is that unless it's like Halo or Call of Duty or Super Smash Brothers or something huge, people don't want to pay fifty or sixty dollars for a game anymore. When you can just buy Angry Birds for a dollar. <laughs> See, that's the problem. It's Angry Birds. Angry Birds is destroying the world. They have merch. That freaks me out. Like, I think that's a that's a big thing. It's like, it's weird. It's weird how things have changed the past couple years. Like, you go to the mall, like, two years ago, you go to the mall, and the first thing you'd see is, like, this nice, fine watch dealer. <laughs> like, it's like a nice watch thing. It's like gold, silver, jewelry. It's a meme shirt thing now. Like, it's not like a new thing. It's just, like, they take the shirts and they just drape it over it. The watches could still be there. <laughs> we don't know, but they're making more money off meme shirts. It, it, it's, it's, it's just come to that point now where reality has realized the internet is a thing. And it's a pretty big thing. Oh, no. And they love those memes. For all we know, for all we know, I could say something on a video, and it could be taken and cut into an audio thing, and someone could draw a face for it. 
and then I could be on a... Like, that's how weird it feels. I don't like being on the internet lately. It's like, uh... It's like... You could become a meme like Talbot. I can... <laughs> Disgust face. <laughs> I got like put, 900 <laughs> I'm gonna put that on a shirt and just go to the mall and place it on top of one and walk away. <laughs> Please do. someone buys it. It's good, good thing. But, like, that's a problem. It's like, it's stupid. For all I know, I could say something dumb... And then a week later, no, a week later, with national... It's literally with, the night well, it comes out. Well, no, with national news, it would be like two years later. We found this great video of a kid saying something dumb on the internet. And Tosh then no. and then a bunch of, like, moms would, like... Yeah, did, Tosh.0, no, man. Did you hear about that girl? The you girl remember? with, like, the, the cheese dress? Yeah. Do you remember that? Yeah. That's you terrible. Know? Yeah, it's like... Some girl did, like... And I read about it, too. It was, like, for a scavenger hunt. Like, charity type thing. Mm. It was like, take a picture of yourself wearing a cheese dress in front of an old car. Or something like that. It was, yeah. like, it was mm. like, for charity. And then people on Tosh Pano, she's like, he like, posted on his site. And he, people are just sitting there, like, ripping on it. Yeah. Yeah. And uh, Like, she did it as a joke. And for charity, A joke apparently. for charity, it's, apparently. It's not like she thinks that it's actually high fashion or something. Yeah. Mm. Ugh. It's the internet, man. It, everyone gets an outlet, and 90% of the time, that's a bad thing. You know, listen, and my outlet is going to be me shitting on them. I'm going to, hey, look at this cool website, and poop can go fly out of the... Yeah! Oh, oh, oh. It'll be like... It'll be like it's, a, it's a horrifying image. That is a pretty horrifying image. Have you guys seen the meme dating website? Yes, I have. <laughs> Oh, uh, no! I, <laughs> it isn't so. Meme it's real. Dates you haven't no, seen it? No. Cheeseburger.com. Oh, wait, I have heard of this. It's not Cheeseburger. <laughs> oh, no. Bobby's gonna die. It's like, it's so fun. Because it's like, it's a basic description of a person now. Hi, I'm Paul. I like this. My favorite memes are. It's it's really bad. Oh, can I get get away? Listen, 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 no. let, me, let me read you this one. Um, can I hear... I'm a big time gamer and redditor. I'm looking for a pretty nerd girl. He he, MC Chris reference. Anyway, I love to play Eve Online and just have a good time. My favorite band is Dead Mouse. Is that a band? You're not gonna die! Is that a Sony Vigo? Okay, here, here is the best one. This one's the best one. Okay. Oh, hi. I love cats and Tim Webbs. My favorite memes are the Rage Face comics and Velociraptor. <laughs> I'm a CS major and I watch Doctor Who. Wow, I'm such a nerd, lol. I'd like to meet a dude who's actually heard of epic rap battles and can actually name a Pokemon. I enjoy playing vid- le- video games too. <laughs> I'll make you a sandwich while you game. <laughs> <laughs> so don't ever leave me five ever alone. XD. <laughs> My favorite sites. Five ever. <laughs> Listen, my favorite sites are Nine Gag and Meme Base. Oh. I like zombies and Mudkip. Love me, please. Oh. You're gonna die. Aren't I'm you? gonna die. That is a real human being on planet Earth. That is a real person. Let's submit a picture of Talbot. <laughs> <laughs> oh my God. Like, these are legitimate human oh, people. Let's, let's get out of here and end the podcast before I die. Look at that guy! Look die. at that guy! No. <laughs> it's got a cat and a machine gun. I don't want to look at that guy! I'm a laid-back, epic, arrow-to-the-knee kind of no, guy. No, no, <laughs> no, 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 we're done. We have to, we have to go! I'm, no. I'm tired of being left forever alone. I want to get my shit together, Tyrone. No. I like video games, comic books, Doctor Who, Arrested Development, Good Guy Greg, Cats... Less richer sauce. Spider Man is my second favorite superhero, while Batman is the absolute shit. He is too epic for the win, XD. When I'm not playing games, I'm on Know Your Meme, trying to better myself in the meme verse. I hope you sink my arrow into your knee if you know what I mean, wink face. Alright, guys, that was fun. We're done here. We're done here. Bye bye, Pony Pokey. See you later. Later, kids. Bye. Bye. Memes.